Hey guys, it's Holly Taylor. I'm back with another demo on Nintendo Switch. This game is called Coffee Talk, and I've heard a little bit about it. I think it's more of like a dialogue narrative story type game, but then you also get to be a barista and make some drinks. And I brought one of my friends in today. Her name is Amanda. She's one of my smartest friends. She's a teacher. She is very literate. So I thought she would be great at a dialogue driven game. And she's never done anything like this before. Um, so I'm kind of pushing her a little bit outside of her comfort zone, but we're gonna, we're gonna get her into gaming. Oh, we get to name ourselves besides barista. Is there a good combination of Holly and Amanda? Um. <laughs> Hallman. Um, um, Molly. <laughs> that sounds a little too drug Do you want, related. I, I, don't, <laughs> um, I don't really want to just be named barista, but I'm not good at no. this creative naming part. No, just do, uh, just do Penny. Okay, we can do, do Penny. Penny. Penny is my dog's name. Penny seems a little more appropriate for a barista than my dog's name, so. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go with my dog's name. <laughs> Definitely more appropriate. Um, and to put me in the mood, I made some coffee. So if you hear me slurping, I'm really sorry. I don't think I slurp my coffee, but, you know, if it if it ends up in the audio, I'm, I'm really sorry in advance. But Amanda's not a coffee drinker. She's laughing really hard right now. She's not a coffee drinker, unfortunately, so I don't know why I picked Coffee Talk to play with her, but here we are. Well, I mean, I like the smell of coffee. Oh, yeah? Yes. How does I mean, my coffee smell? Like summertime. <laughs> oh, we're in Seattle. Seattle 2020. I don't know what year this game came out. I feel like it was at least a few years ago. But it's not supposed to be, like, futuristic. They only picked 2020. Oh god, they picked like literally the, the year. worst year. Yep. The worst year yep. ever. A city filled with dreams and madness. <laughs> a time when the great war between races is but a footnote in history. Yeah, so I heard about this game that not every character is human, or maybe none of the characters are human. I'm really not sure. Um, but I, I'm sure that's what a great war between races is alluding to. A time when anyone can dream of being whatever they want to be and have those dreams crushed before they can even be discussed. Oh. That's pleasant. I mean, that's 2020. In yeah, show, that's true. So that's we're, true. Yeah, we're wow. Good. We're, we're good there. These writers were good at predicting things, Omniscient. I guess. Mm -hmm. But still, it is a place and time where anything can happen, like a global pandemic. they're definitely not human. No. Yeah, that girl with the pink skin's got some pointy ears. So the got elves some horns. have left the forest to build their startups. It's very techy. As, as elves do. Yeah. Oh, when the dwarves have emerged from their caves to start their automotive <laughs> empires, as they do uh -huh. also. Uh -huh. When the orcs have put down their axes and started using computers to improve their lives. Good job, I always orcs. said how smart they were, yep. honestly. Yep, good job. And when humans live among them, as driven as ever, oh. it's a city that holds the many dreams and stories of its people. Is that guy with the is blondish he, hair human? I, I don't know. Also, is the one in front, what is he smoking? It is the Pacific Northwest. I don't, yeah. I don't, is, mm. Also, Maybe we'll find out. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Coffee and cigarettes. Most of these stories are left untold. But some few find solace in the embrace of bricks and wood and glass. They are told over drinks, then take up residence in some stranger's memories. It's a coffee talk. Okay. I guess. In one corner of this city stands a coffee shop. A place that is only open when the sun is sleeping. Because who who wouldn't want to drink coffee only at night? I, I As a non-coffee drinker, I have questions. Because <laughs> I thought you drank it in the morning to wake up. So. 
Oh, it's where people share their stories also and drink coffee. Yeah. While sharing stories. Sure. Mm. And these are their stories. Dun, dun. It's like law and order. Oh, the bar, the coffee shop is called Coffee Talk. Oh. I didn't realize it was going to be so meta. Oh. September 22nd, 2020. So we're like well into COVID. Okay. Yeah. No, this was... God, I'm still remote teaching. This was not fun. <laughs> Freya. Hey, Penny. How's the night so far? <sighs> what happened? Oh, that's a bummer. Why is Penny not talking to me? I mean, that's good to hear. Oh, don't worry. Take your time answering me. <laughs> I'm a writer, not an editor. I'm used to taking things slow. Slowly. <laughs> oh, I got that right. Do you remember my plan to... You got some coffee brewing? Is that what that sound was? Yes, please. If you forget how to make it, just check your phone, okay? There is this phone icon in the left. Let's see what happens. I don't know if I was supposed to do this yet. Brew bad? I feel like we kind of jumped into like the middle of a conversation. I, well, I don't know why nobody's, where's the, the coo Where's the con conversation? Yes. Anyway, I really need that triple shot espresso. I guess, Penny, you're the barista. I, I'm the barista. So, triple shot espresso. Check my brew pad. Do I just coffee, coffee, coffee? <laughs> I don't know. Um. Okay, base is coffee. Coffee. And coffee and coffee. Brew. Okay, wait. I think I, that was way easier than serve it. That aroma. Exactly what I need. Anyway, where were we? <laughs> ah, yes, that. <laughs> Just talk to yourself. It's not that I hate writing stories for the newspaper, you know? It seems like the right time for something bigger. Sounded so simple when I was making the plan. You know, people say that customers tend to open up to bartenders and I guess baristas at a place like this too. I think that's just what they're illustrating here, that she's just like pouring her guts out even though the well, person may not even be receiving it very well. Well, I mean, I would also think too though, like just like people have their favorite bars, I would imagine people other same like neighborhood like coffee shops or whatever where you would see yeah like somebody. she's spray as a regular at yeah. this place and she talks to penny all the time and penny already knows a lot about her life yeah it must be that i mean like she's hanging out there at night well it's only open at night oh, no. oh. <laughs> you see this person walking by as a tail yeah oh they do and heels and ears nice <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll do the laughing sounds. <laughs> we, can, we can take turns. Freya's just talking a it's lot. It's so much Freya. There's no penny. Well, this is the demo, and I know there are other customers who come in, um, but I think Freya is the main character because she's been in, in a lot of the images for the game I've seen. I think she's on the cover of the physical copy. So she does have a large role, but I think there are other characters coming in too. So we can take turns being Freya. Or you can be Freya and I can be all the other characters. Since apparently uh, Penny doesn't talk. I really thought Penny was going to talk. I did too. Okay. And that's you, why I said I'll be Penny. You know what? Like, <laughs> you know, Freya is a multifaceted person. She has a lot of things happening in her life. So she might like change her voice from time to yeah. time. Which is yeah, that makes perfect totally sense. Totally normal within uh -huh. the realm of this game, I yeah, feel like. That's She's true. laughing. She agrees. So. Okay, I'll be Freya now. No, you were right. You said something I should have thought about myself. Do you know who owns 
the evening whispers is that the newspaper it's gotta be right even better it's like a strip club <laughs> i don't know yes it sounds like a strip club yes <laughs> And they are also the biggest book publisher in the country. So when an opportunity presented itself, I took it. Well, I bumped into one of the big guys in the elevator. So naturally, I pitched my book idea. Come on, don't look at me like that. Yeah, yeah, I know. It was such a stupid thing to do. God, Freya, you're so stupid. I, I actually, Pitching your book I was idea. giving Freya the look, though. I mean, I was giving Freya the look. <laughs> Thankfully, he'd seen my short stories. That's a little... Really? Your short stories? I don't think that happens. It does I, not happen. That doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. It's something men in a closed elevator will tell you. They're not looking to see your short stories. No. Nope. They are not. Nope. He challenged you. He I challenged bet he did. <laughs> and I, bet, I bet he did. If I can get a draft ready in a month, he'll pull some strings. Yeah, I bet he will. I bet he pulls your strings. <laughs> and get the fiction publishing division to sign me up for a publishing deal. Oh, I have so many issues with this. String big girl. You're going places. That's the hard part. I've been secretly working on the novel during office hours, and I'm falling behind on the newspaper's deadlines. If the chief finds out, she'll probably kick me out. That was last week. Again, don't look at me like that. Er. <laughs> hey, that's rude. I've written some stuff, you know. Um, well. It was so bad that, well, after reading it, I decided to just delete everything immediately. Hoof. <laughs> how, how do you pronounce this? I don't. Hoof. <laughs> I, we get that she, she is a tortured artist type. Like, definitely we're getting that here. Plucky, I guess you would call her. Plucky, also, I, you know? I don't know that I would call her plucky. Maybe a different she pitched her idea to the guy in the elevator. You know, she's working on her novel on company time. She's like ambitious but desperate. I really can't decide how I feel about her at this point. I mean, she gets a month for a deadline. That's when she's also working on it during her paid working hours. You're so Hermione Granger. <laughs> so Hermione Granger. I really need to finish it in, at most, two weeks. Then I'll use the extra week to polish and do some editing. I know, I know. You don't need to be so cynical about it. That's why I'm here today. I'm hoping to find some inspiration. I wrote some of my best short stories here, you know. Oh, we got a new customer. We got a friend. Oh, Ooh, look at those horns, girl. Horns and pointy ears. Hi there. Do you want to? You, you can be this person now. Okay, I'll be this person. Hi there. Hello. Good evening. Yes, please. I, I don't like that part. Like, no. Who is she saying yes, please to? And what about? Like, did Penny just offer her? I'm not really sure what to order, though. What do you recommend? I'm just here to be my boyfriend. Not planning to be awake all night. Then why did you go to a coffee Are shop you, at night? Friend? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so that's true. definitely no coffee. Okay, okay. Oh, is this for the green? Oh. How about something chocolatey? It's perfect for this weather. That's a good idea, actually. And honestly, like, that is what I do prefer is hot chocolate yeah. over coffee. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything with chocolate in, please. Okay, we got cocoa powder. Oh, I should look up a recipe. Probably just cocoa powder and milk, right? You definitely have to have milk. Undiscovered. Do I need to like... Wait. Do I need to make up my own recipe? I I would definitely put... Oh, wait, dark chocolate. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Okay, we can do chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Let's brew it. Thank you. So warm. 
<laughs> yes, he should be here soon. Look at you now. You went from empty to three customers in one night. Who's the third? Where's the third customer? Oh, the boyfriend who's coming? I thought this place would be more crowded. Considering it's the only shop that's still open after midnight around here. It's after midnight? Why are they in a coffee cart? Because it's the only coffee shop still opens past midnight. It's mostly empty. Is she writing? Now that you mention it, is it good for business having the coffee shop only open at night? Thank you, girl. Thank you. That's what the question we're, we're all wondering. Definitely not. Then why? That's fascinating. But what is fascinating? That's what I want to know. What's fascinating, though? There's no like that. Someone made the business decision to. I'm just saying there's. Open. I mean, there's a lot of inference that's happening yes. here, which is fine, but... Oh, pardon me for asking, but how can you survive running the coffee shop like this? Penny here is damn rich. That's the secret. Okay, so Penny just prefers to only... She's just a night person? Night owl? Oh, really? Don't worry about it. Penny can manage. I'm sure this place isn't going bankrupt anytime soon. So you'll still have a weird, quiet place to meet up at night. Also, that's kind of like... Freya's just broadcasting Penny's personal finance. Like, like, that, like isn't that Penny's business? Also, I'm just also not 100% down with Freya. I'm just saying. Yeah, I mean, yeah. That's good to hear. By the way, oh, are you a regular here? I don't really have anywhere else to go. <laughs> I'm a writer who works best at night and in a coffee shop. Not so many options for that. Ah, uh, no wonder. Shut up. Look at her face. She <laughs> just like stroked out. What is happening? <laughs> Shut up. Wow, that's really interesting. What kind of things do you cover? I cover the stories of people around town. Personal, interesting, weird stories. I also contribute to their short stories. I love their fiction. What? Is she talking about the magazine company? You wrote those stories? Thank you. I wrote most of them, but not all. That's so cool. Then are you here to write a new piece? I should be. But I don't even know what to write about. New person. Oh. Hey, boyfriend. I assume. <laughs> is that my boyfriend? I don't, I don't I know. I think he is. Oh, Do you want God. him to be? Oh, he looks a little intense. He's a lot of... <laughs> he has better makeup than me. I'm not going to lie. Okay. He's serving Bowie vibes. Yeah, he's got a little bit of Bowie. I can a see that. A little bit. Okay, I'll be boyfriend. No. <laughs> So you don't have to, like, date yourself. Thank you. <laughs> Hi. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's okay. I had a nice chat with the fine folks here. I like how their names are still question marks. Like, she's been here for a while and we still haven't gotten her name. Hi there. Hello. Hmm. Surprise me. What kind of order is that? Well, I don't really know what to order. Nice little zoom in on that. Right. <laughs> Something bitter to keep me awake with milk. Oh, and draw some latte art on the top. Okay, so coffee, coffee milk? My friend needs manners. <laughs> uh, Do you not have the recipe thingy? Well, he just said coffee with milk. And what's he the third? Some, he wants something bitter. Oh, he did say that. Bitter would be more coffee, right? So then, okay, so... Oh, there's a bitterness scale. Okay, yeah, right. so warm, cool, sweet, and bitter. I'm just going to try coffee, coffee, milk, and we'll see... Oh, yeah. We'll see how bitter that looks. Yeah, that's better. And then how do I do the latte art? Okay, we're just going to brew it, and maybe the option will be there after. 
Because there is that. Oh, oh latte, latte art. art. Oh my gosh, do I get to design it? This is actually kind of cool. Move. Um, pour milk. Move cursor. And then pour milk. Oh, wow. <clears throat> I don't. This what? is. Oh. This is actually quite cool, but I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, is it a. It's a. It's all kind of swirling together. Um. You can see two colors. Just. <laughs> oh. Um, can I start it's a over? It's mountain and a. Oh, look, reset up at the top. All right, let's start over. Okay, okay. so I figured out how to rotate the cup. So. <laughs> That's worse. <laughs> It's better. It like so you have like the edge and then Do you, you wanna try? <laughs> no, I do not wanna try. I want to critique your latte art. What have have you done anything with invert? I did. I meant, I put, no. What about I edge? hit invert a couple times. What about edge? It doesn't look like it's oh. Can you do like just a heart? Can you try a heart? Right? I mean Oh. Wait. Okay. Well, he looks demanding. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, he's a jerk. No, he's... I think I reset it. Oh. So I didn't give him any latte art. Well, right, but even still, that's not nice. That's cute. Oh. Perfect. <laughs> anyway, I was distracted by some work. Plus, there's the rain. Oh, I don't like my boyfriend. It's okay. Bailey's? Bailey's? Yep. Bailey's? Bailey's? I'm dating a dude with Bowie ears and makeup in <laughs> Bailey's? That's okay. I was having a nice chat with them. Oh yeah, I haven't properly introduced myself. I'm Bailey's. Oh my, where are my manners? I haven't introduced myself either. My name is Lua. Hi, I'm Freya. Hey, and did you know that Freya here is a writer for the Evening Whispers? Oh, really? I've done some work for them a few times. Oh, what kind of work? I'm a freelance designer and illustrator. I've done some caricatures and infographics for the paper. I assume you were in contact with Steve? Yep, he's a nice guy to work with. Oh, really? No, he isn't. But I've dealt with worse clients. Way worse. Yeah, I'm glad he's in the design and visuals department. I wouldn't be able to stand working with him directly. Haha, <laughs> come on. He's tough to deal with, but definitely not the worst. Oh, of course. No matter how deep you go, there's always another layer of hell. How do you usually deal with bad customers here? <laughs> that sounds really bad. That's because you're good with your fists. What? Not as good as your coughing making skill, though. You're welcome. Anyway, I really need to start writing. Whatever it is that I'm going to write. So, I'll leave you two. In the hands of our friendly neighborhood barista. Where are you going to write? Oh, not far. Just over at that table in the corner. Next to the windows. That's my spot. Oh, okay. Have fun. Ha. <laughs> I'll try. Good luck. Thanks. Why does everyone in this game smoke? Oh no, that's well, she's smoking, but that's the co the steam coming off their coffee. I thought he was smoking. Right. Too. Should we move to other seats too? Nah, here is good. Okay then. So, how was your day? It was fine. Work was nothing special. I finished my proposal early so I could get out of the office. 
boss. My boss was in a really good mood all day. I thought your boss was always a happy-go-lucky person. Well, he is. But today he was happier than usual. I'm not sure what happened, but it was great seeing him smile so much. What about you? Any problems with your latest client? Well, this one is a pain in the ass. You know those memes that depict terrible clients? Well, she fits all the bills. I could go on forever complaining about her, but that one helped me a bit. You should make a meme about her. And lose my current project for a minute of laughter? That might be worth it. You should ask Penny here about how to deal with annoying clients. Oh yeah? How do you usually deal with annoying customers? The ones you don't need your fist to take care of. Like you? Is Penny a street fighter? <laughs> now that's one good lesson to learn for the day. Oh my gosh, the controller's like violently vibrating and I was like, why is this happening? It's because her phone is ringing. I don't think I've ever felt the controller vibrate that strong. I thought, I didn't think it was a controller, I thought it was your, like, your phone for a second. Your parents? Yes. So, you've talked to them? I did. It didn't end well? No. What did they say? A lot. Yeah, lots of dots going on between these two. Not good communicators. They won't give us a chance at all? Anyone but an elf. What is she, an elf with horns? I, I don't know. What, what would she be then? We That's what they said. We haven't seen her bottom half. No, we have not. <laughs> How about you? More or less the same. What? I got into a fight with my old man. That's why I'm staying at Farron's place now. They kicked you out? You don't have to do this, you know? They're your family. I can't stand even one more second being a part of them. I might not have a stable income, but I can manage. But still... You don't know what they said about you last night. Uh-oh. I'm sorry. What did they say about me? Or about my race, I assume? Forget it. I want to know. Just the same old shit. Mumbling about how elves are holy creatures. About our immortality. About how even if I outlive you... What? Nothing. About how if you outlive me, no other elves would want to be with an elf? That's already been tainted by a lowly succubus? Oh, I didn't expect that. No, I was not seeing succubus. That's exactly what they said. So many times. So this is it then. The end of our relationship. It doesn't have to be. You know our families will never agree. We can just continue like this. What do you mean? They don't need to know that we're still dating. We can just continue the way we've always been. Without them knowing. And then what? Do you want to be hiding our relationship for the rest of eternity? We're not like humans, you know. We can't just elope. And you won't get permission because you're too old. Lua, I don't care about their permission. I'll be glad to sever my family ties if I have to. I can't let you do that. You'll lose your immortality. If I get to spend my life with you, I don't mind. I don't mind a bit. You're making this hard for both of us. 
Do you feel happy when you're with me? Of course I do. Then you don't need any more reasons. You know we're perfect for each other. You don't even need to look deep down. Trust me, we can do this together. Getting like Romeo and Juliet vibes, big time. A little you know? bit. I can't think about this clearly right now. We'll talk later. Wow, she's just like abandoning this serious conversation. I mean, at first I kind of hated both of them, more the boyfriend, but then I kind of felt bad for him, but she's kind of just running. You know what I, I mean? I mean, I don't know. I'm definitely, I definitely get Romeo and Juliet vibes, but that's also because, you know, I taught that several times. Yes, I, I can imagine. You know, two households, both like dignity. You know, your elves, your elves tainted <laughs> succubus. by succubi. I don't know. It's a little, it's weird. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, she gone. Oh, did I apparate? Like, what, <laughs> what did I do? I'm sorry you had to listen to our problems. <laughs> I hope so, too. Do you have any alcohol? <laughs> <laughs> that's a bummer. Well, do you have anything that's warm and can calm me down? Green tea lattes? I'll take one. All right, give me my recipe book. Green tea milk milk. He didn't ask for latte art this time, so I'm just gonna give it to him. This is good. Thank you for this. By the way, are you married? <laughs> what a jerk! Homeboy! Bailey's. What a jerk. Do you have someone you love? Huh, I don't, I didn't really have any expectations. Man, out of all the people in the whole world, why did I fall for her? You can if you try hard enough. At least that's what my old man said. He really is one pretentious elf, but I guess all of them are. Entitled, pretentious, immortal douchebags. Or an eternity to be an eternal asshole. Anyway, I need to go now and probably drink myself under until the sun rises. More time for me to drink then. See you around. See you around too, Miss Freya. He's coming across as uber creepy. A little bit, yeah. Yes, I really am like missing the barista dialogue here. It, it it's super choppy. I, like yeah. I said, I mean, there's a lot of inference that has to happen. Poor souls. I thought she was sitting like at a table by the window. I, yeah, because that's her spot. That's where she writes, but she hasn't moved at all. Me too. Anyway, I need to leave. I have to get up earlier than usual tomorrow. That's pretty early. <laughs> Okay, you have a good night then. So I I kind of pictured this as like one one night. Like whatever customers come in and wherever, the entire game would be taking the place up for one night, but maybe it's multiple days. I mean, it must be multiple days because now we're on another day. I assume Freya's gonna come back. Oh, here's her newspaper. Zombie virus from Africa may have reached Seattle. Well, oh, you know. Well, you were just a little bit off, just just a tiny bit off, but like, real close. Good job. Oh, that's. Yeah, that's a little it too just, on the nose. It, yeah, that just feels weird, <clears throat> especially because it's like specific to. Zombie virus from Africa. Yeah, like, that's true. This image is a little. It's a little. It's a, mm. Um, I'm kind of surprised that. I mean, again, I don't know exactly when this game is released, but I'm kind of surprised that they didn't like do an update in the game to kind of change some of this stuff, or at least like change the year to it not being 2020 because of like Things if they wanted like to that, leave this in. Yeah, that that does not age well. No. It does not. 
Is someone new? We got Freya back. That's Freya. Oh boy. Good evening. I'm sorry, but I'm so excited to share this with you. I know what to write for my novel. Hey, don't be rude. I'm being serious here. I love this facial expression. <laughs> this coffee shop. I'm going to write stories about this coffee shop and the people who come here. Yes. I'm not asking permission. Relax, I know that. I just need some inspiration from this place. The stories themselves will be loosely based on what I hear and see here. Knife walker novel versus movie level loosely based. This, that's just words. <laughs> of course I'm talking about the old one. That's already very different, you know. You can't get more different than that. No, you can't. Although you can just ban me from coming. What? Very funny. Thanks for not banning me, though. Anyway... I'm really excited to see who's going to come tonight. I wonder what kind of stories they'll have. To be continued. Is this the end of the demo? It probably is. Thank you for playing. All right, that's all we get of Coffee Talk. So we find out that Freya wants to write her novel about the people that come into the shop, which may or may not have some, you know, privacy issues, depending on how much she actually takes from those stories. Right. And she obviously doesn't care really about how Penny feels about her doing this. Mm, no. Also, it would be nice to know what Penny thought. Right. Instead Probably. of just like getting the one side of the conversation. Yeah. Especially when you're playing that character. Yeah, like even like go old school and have options, you know, for dialogue. Yeah. You know, like a choose your own. <clears throat> Like a choose-your-own-adventure type thing? Yes, that would have been much better. That would have made it, like, so much more fun. Like, to be able to have more control over the interaction that you had. But maybe because it's a demo, they can't... I don't know. Usually the them. demo has all of the game features. Especially... I know. <laughs> Especially for a game like this. Like... That's all dialogue? Yeah. I mean... I guess you would have to what happens when Freya gets a story, but... I'm not sure how many hours are in the full version of the game. I don't think it's a super long game, but it's not that short. Um, and I think I read something about how, like, there's some sort of um, conflict between, like, the newspaper company and maybe some sort of unethical things that she uncovers. Or the fact that they just blamed an entire, like, palm hunt for... Yeah. Um, yeah, that too. You know. Like, yeah, maybe maybe that's part of it. Maybe that's, like, the first little hint. Or, yeah, like, foreshadowing. that was... I, I guess I would really be interested to know when they actually made this because it's just a lot of shades of when we first started hearing about COVID and how yep, yep. people were falsely, like, just blaming it. Well, and there's also, like, a good amount of opportunity here to talk about, I guess, like, race relations, at least, like, at a high-level context. But from what I've seen before, like, the very opening dialogue was, like, something about a great race war or something. Yeah, like when you see 2020 and you see like Great Race War. Okay, this game was released in January 2020. It takes oh. place in September 2020. Oh, so they were like Lord. right before. Oh. Well, I mean, I guess it, it was already out there in China. Wow. In January, late January. But Even, I mean, I'm sure I, I'm sure this game took at least a year to develop. Yeah, that's be interesting to see how many games just to see like how games are impacted I guess like moving forward yeah you know very interesting I mean I would probably play this game like it is kind of relaxing you don't really have to think like the interactive the music, the music is relaxing the music is, is actually pretty nice and it's cool to be like oh who's gonna come in next and what's their story gonna be and I kind of even like the making drinks part because it's not difficult by any means, but it kind of like breaks up. <laughs> latte all... art. Yeah, <laughs> the latte art. Latte I definitely art. need some practice at that. I hope that in the game mechanics you don't Maybe ever like... Maybe there's like a tutorial. 
for yeah. it or something. Maybe. Um, or just more practice I would get better at. I hope you're never, like, judged on, oh, this is bad latte art, so you lose points or something. Right. Because then the game would just get more stressful and be less relaxing and cozy. Yeah. I mean, it definitely is super, like, just the music and even just the graphics are... You get some chill vibes. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, yeah. I would play this. I don't know that this is the type of game I would pay full price for. I mean, it depends on how many hours of content it is. But if I see this go on sale, I'd be willing to give the full thing a try. But I'm not gonna, you know, jump at the chance to get the full version. Right. All right. Well, I guess that'll wrap it up for now. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.